Howdy guys, just wanted to share with you a van design I've been toying with. This is the basic layout that I've been toying with. I know I'm pretty settled on having uh, like a couch table kind of combo thing going on at the back of the van uh, here. And I want it to be like a multifunctional area. So I have, um, I'll be putting on my, my bed on a lift system. And so at the moment it's like it's pushed right up into the roof but like you know it'll get lowered down uh to here so you can actually sleep on it and whatnot um and then you know if you want to use the uh couch or the table or whatnot like if you're working um in the van that day or you just want the extra extra space to be able to lounge about and not being on the on the bed uh then you can throw it up into the ceiling and then you have functional access to this whole area right here. I won't be able to stand uh, under the, the bed probably directly, um, but you know, just be a slight slight bend of the head, nothing nothing too major. Um, I think it'd be quite quite functional. And like quite often, you know, you're sitting down and stuff anyway, you don't really need to be able to, uh, you know, not be, not, um, not being able to stand up straight and not clobber your head, etc. So in this design, I was sort of toying with uh, a little bit more open space, and it seems that, um, like most van designs that I've seen and whatnot, uh, when the kitchen is sort of done in a U, like in this area right here, uh, it seems to utilise the space uh, a lot better. However, I really want to be able to access uh, the van from the front. And so I was toying with um, being able to put like uh, a walkway through here and then I'll do like a, a fold up um, or slide out or something like that bench bit to like be able to, be able to fill it in when you actually uh, need the extra space and whatnot. Don't need to be able to walk through. Yeah, so I mean that was just a design I was uh, playing with. Of, well, I mean I'll definitely have um, some induction uh, cooktops, at least one element, maybe two, on the bench. And I mean obviously you need your sink and whatnot. I'm also toying with the idea of sticking a um, an oven in the van, but that may not happen straight away, or maybe it will. I don't know. So this this van here it didn't have a dedicated space for a toilet or a shower or whatnot uh, like a you know dedicated bathroom um, I probably will have a toilet somewhere but it, you know it, I don't plan on using it too much it'll just be for emergency situations um, I guess and at the back of the van which I mean it's not uh, drawn in but I'll have shower access and whatnot always for there so I mean if it's not absolutely freezing cold weather, you know, you can throw a tarp up between the uh, back doors or whatnot and do a do a shower there. Or I will work on a, another design as well that um, will have a toilet and shower and stuff uh, in the system. Um, it's just, if you go down that route with a fixed uh, room, it takes up a lot of more space. And to do that, I would have to do uh, you know, some some benches or some uh, wardrobe or whatnot or even the shower or something down this side or, or whatnot. So, you know, you lose that open space. Yeah, but maybe it'll be worthwhile. I've also toyed with the idea of like a pop-up shower or something like that. I have seen some people that stick them like literally in the floor and then you can fold up uh, part of the floor like to gain access and then you pull the shower up and you clip it on something in the in the uh, ceiling uh, etc don't know um, to be able to do that you'd oft obviously have to have a false or like a raised uh, floor um, and I'm not sure if I have a lot of room really play with because like you know I'm 190 uh, centimeters the vans only 2.1 uh high and then you know once you throw insulation and whatnot you're easily losing 100 mil or more um so it really only gives you a little bit to work with maybe it could work i don't know um yeah 
but anyway uh, let me know what you think about that um, it's more just playing around with a general concept it's not going this is exactly what I'm going with uh, the back end like here and the bed lift like I'm pretty sold on that whole design um, yeah like this here will be a little bit more space maybe not a cushion at the back or maybe it'll be played around with or something like that um, with some drawers in the back etc so that'll be a little bit deeper there but um yeah plenty of space i reckon you, like you know you're gonna comfortably seat five like you're probably gonna do six or more you can even get something along here if you wanted and an extra seat there you know plenty like way more than what i'd normally have in the van so so yeah this was a play with being able to access the front and back i mean there will be a a wall built built through here and, and an actual door and stuff so that just gives you better uh, cut off between the front and the back and allows you to insulate uh, the living area a lot better because you know the front is where you get a lot of exposure um, you know from the elements and whatnot because obviously you can't insulate the windows or at least not permanently so I think like the first things I will be doing when I get the van will be uh, completely uh, insulating it, uh, soundproofing, uh, well sound deadening not proofing and then you know your basic lining and whatnot and then setting up this back area in the bed um, and getting that uh, functional uh, the rest you know I can, I can, I can sort of play around with um, over a few months and sort of see what I think is functional and what I like and when I've actually got the uh, working area and you're actually inside and standing you know you'll see whether oh yeah there's actually is room and you know I can I can better utilize this space or whatever like that so I've got you know more space for stretching or whatnot uh, because while I won't normally use it as a bed or anything like that I mean the table will be able to pop down or completely remove uh, kind of thing and then you can put things here move cushions across and then that can come uh, become like another bed um, or you know you could stretch on there take the mattresses off if you want a, like a harder surface or whatever so I think that's all pretty groovy right oh well I just had a interesting thought and that is with this open layout like I, I like this so much better just a little bit of space and whatnot is this bit here I could add in like a little bit of extra bit here so it's built in like you know sort of like one of these small cabinets um, and I've seen some pretty cool cabinets where you know you can slide them out um, to like get extra bench space and working area and, and whatnot and they just fold up and go into a small uh, little compartment so they basically come like a little bookshelf or or some small functional thing like that um, and so that may be an interesting way that I can use this uh, extra space uh, for some benches and maybe not have this bench thing there there and whatnot um, so anyway yeah that's a interesting uh, thing I can explore and the other thing I didn't show you is we have this man which I guess he's standing around about the floor height there and so I think I could put this guy at 190 which is my height and so it shows you roughly you know the heights and stuff you can expect um, so as I was saying before like I won't be able to walk um, without bending over uh, directly under the bed or this bed may be able to go up a little bit higher I don't know um, yeah but it's not going to be super crazy or anything like that like a, a lot of um, like I think you know most uh, girls women stuff like that would be able to uh, walk under there quite comfortably um, just not us tall plus six feet people yeah anyway there's a, a small little tidbit um, yeah I think this could actually work quite well this uh, small little cabinet here that slides out 
something to play with. Cheers.